Okay, so this is uh, my not so itty bitty belted extruder. It's a remix of the uh, itty bitty belted extruder with a, uh, set, a NEMA 17 motor as opposed to the NEMA 14 which that uh, extruder has. This is also uh, a 1.75 filament versus 3. Um, I do have a 3 millimeter. Um, uh, STL up on my Thingiverse page for this item and I also have another version of this that has a location on the top for a cable chain which I'm planning on printing and I think that be the version I run eventually uh, just has a, a mount from here back so that I can put a cable chain going off to the right um, so far this is my second print I did a print last night with a just a G code I had lying around and that one didn't turn out so well. This one seems to have turned out phenomenal. Um, you know, the, the reason I went with the uh, this design versus the direct extruder which the Folger Tech 2020 came with was I was looking to get rid of the Moray patterns that were appearing on the side of my prints. And uh, I seem to have done that. I removed the print and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so on the cube on the right, that's with my new extruder. The cube on the left is not the same cube, but it shows you the... I'm not sure how well the moray will show up on the side, but it's significantly more significant um, on the uh, cube on the left than it is on the right. There's still some on the one on the right. Uh, you know, on a really close inspection, but it's a fraction of what it was before. Um, and I attributed that to the fact that in order to run with the belted extruder um, I have my steps per millimeter 
at around 1200. Um, the exact number is like 1266 point some, I think, off the top of my head. Um, where the old number was like 114. So, you know, based on my limited understanding on how things work, the more I was coming from the steppers, and you're seeing this each time the pulse from the stepper went, when you have more pulses, the steps will be close together, they'll be smaller in nature, and I think that's why it works. So uh, I'm going to link to this on my uh, uh, on the description the the, the belted extruder. Um, and I, I, right now I'm like I said it's a remix of the uh, the itty bitty uh, belted extruder, which was a NEMA 14. This is a NEMA 17, um, but the parts are interchangeable. And on on the Thingiverse page, I have a link to where you can order the parts for the bolt and the belt uh, from. Um, I think it's, uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name, um, but I'll link to it so that you can see it. Um, and if you want to order from him, you can, you can make your own. Um, the, uh, the, the knurling on this bolt is 15 millimeters from the bolt, the bottom of the bolt head. So if you can make your own, you can do that too. Um, his was designed for 3 filament and I think the groove is a bit deep for 175, but it works. Um, as I can see here, but uh, yeah, I might try making my own, make a jig so I can make my own, and make a, a, a less significant groove because I don't think I need it. Um, everything else on this setup is basically done. I am going to change the mount. Uh, I'm right now. I also uh, have a custom design mount for the V slot for hooking up my BL touch, and I had to put two nuts on the bottom as spacers in order to get it low enough. Um, so I'm going to extend um, the accessory mounts that I have on the side of my mount to, to go lower. Um, I'll probably add another five millimeter or so to it and see how that works. Um, there's a bit of warping on the one I have so I needed to reprint it anyways, but it worked the way it was, so I ran it. Um, once I bolted it up to the uh, extruder, the warping came out. Um, I'm using Folger Tech ABS, and yeah, I've had problems with it, and this is one of the problems. Um, when I've run uh, Hatchbox, I don't see that same issue. So, and I, I, that was part of my old direct drive extruder that came with the Folger Tech 2020. Um, this new one will be, will be printed with this extruder, so uh, I'll probably do that this weekend and take it all apart and put it back all together again. Um, oh yeah, and I'm running a new uh, E3D V6, which is obviously not the direct the drive extruder hot end. Um, yeah, this machine, I, I actually have enough spare parts now that I took the extruder off. To build the original one, I think I'm only missing a couple small parts here and there. Um, yeah, I guess uh, the um, trying to think of what parts I, have. I, I the power supply, the because uh, I have spare parts for most of my other stuff. Um, yeah, I actually think I have almost enough parts. The only thing I'm missing would be the uh, the eight millimeter. Uh, chrome rod for the z-axis because um, I took because I'm running v-slot for the x and the y-axis um, I actually have those original chrome rods I could reuse and build a whole new machine and I have four lengths of one meter um, 2020 from Folger Tech so if I cut them out of length I could build myself a machine but this machine's running really, really good now um, I'm really happy with how it turned out um, and uh, I'm, I'm happy I went this way. I could have gone out and spent a grand on a machine that was probably everything I wanted and needed, but I like the fact that I built this one, and uh, the extruder was the last little bit. Um, and I'm, I'm going to redesign the uh, the the, uh, the guidler that uh, is on this extruder. I'm using one that, from the itty bitty builder extruder, which was a remix of somebody else's. Uh, I'm going to change the design a little bit. Uh, and I'll, when I do that, I'll upload that new guidler to the uh, to the project. 
but uh yeah right now i have three versions of it up on there if you're looking for a different version if you can let me know I'll, I'll see what i can do um about uh you know uploading a, a, a new a new version um if you like these things i'll give it a thumbs up share like all that type of jazz subscribe um yeah, and the Thingiverse thing, I have links to where you can order the nuts and bolts other than the stuff that comes from, you know, the uh, the guy who built the original one. Um, if you order those, I get uh, I get five percent from Amazon, um, you know, which you know gives me about a quarter or so if you order a, a bunch of uh, M3 nuts and bolts. But uh, yeah, it's something. So yeah, uh, I'll be uploading a video soon on the. Uh, on the rotator project I've been working on, which is why I got this machine. And stay tuned, it'll probably be uploaded next week sometime. So, until next time, thanks for watching.